Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got Sam with us today. Hell yeah. And what we're gonna do is head off to another island where we're out of our comfort zone. We've never really gone for lobsters around here. I've been here for almost once before, but that was years ago. So fingers crossed we can find some seafood. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff, eh mate? Let's hope so. <laughs> it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! What we're doing, guys, we've got our tickets now, so we're gonna go for a nice fry up, hey, mate? Oh, well, that's looking, that sounds good to me. Yeah, before we get the boat, so we've got loads of energy, and hopefully we can find some lobsters. There you go, sir. Oh, thank you, waiter. You're that's very, very well. kind of you. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna sit here with nothing now. Look how good that looks. Yum, energy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call a boat journey. Sam's doing the Titanic. <laughs> Come on, Sam, no breaking legs. I hope not, not just yet, anyway. <laughs> We've been here five minutes and we're already in palavas. <laughs> what a nightmare. We are finally here now, guys. We're in the beautiful island of Herm. Sam's just getting his waders on. And as you can see, it really is a gorgeous place to come. And we don't know what seafood we're going to find here. We're just going to scout about. We found a little rocky area on a map that we're going to go to. And fingers crossed, we picked the right spot. First thing we found today, nice Venus clam there. That's a banded Venus clam. It's good that we're finding this. We're finding a lot of oyster shells as well. There's a big oyster bed here. We're gonna give you a little show. If we can see any on the floor, then happy days, we'll eat them. But uh, yeah, this is a lot different ground, this. It's really different to Guernsey. It's a big sand bed, and we've just got a few reefs in between. So we're hoping we can find some lobster holes. Just found our first live oyster of the day, guys. Only a little baby one. We're just looking around here where they've been cast out of the shells. Look, another little one there. These are Pacific rock oysters. They're not native to the UK. We're going to put these back, guys. These are a bit small for what we want. There's not going to be any meat in them. So we're just going to go for a walk around. We'll show you the uh, bags here. They look amazing. You see these are about three or four inches long. Perfect selling size. We've seen the uh, the guys come down here before, they were taking sacks off. But it shows how they're farmed. You've got tiny ones all the way up, so they've got a constant cycle of them. So many empty shells, eh? Yeah, there's loads. So there we go, guys. We've got two oysters that are big enough for us to keep. So we're going to latch onto these two, add it to our little seafood buffet. We're going to go for a walk around the reef in the back. There you go. In the bag. Slam done. Job done. That's a bit small, that one. Yeah, little baby one. We were just chatting to one of the oyster farmers guys. He's just telling us a bit of information on them, the different grading and that. Really, really interesting to find out it is. Sam's got another one. Happy days, mate. Oh, sick. <laughs> we're just mooching around. You can see all the shells on the floor, guys. These are ones that get tossed away or or beaten up from the from the weather, and they get they escape the bags. And then we come along and munch on them. Finding a lot of Venus clams in this spot, eh? Yeah, it's quite a few. There's two over there near you. We don't want to eat any of these today. These are a bit small. We would rather purge these if we can. But nice to see. It's interesting what's around here. We're learning a lot about this bay. It's a Dossinia clam there, guys. It's a massive clam bed here. Be good to bring a rake next time. Finding all sorts of bivalves. These right here, guys. These are called the Dahlia anemones. You can see they close up when you touch them. They're awesome to see. We don't really see these a lot in Guernsey. There is oysters absolutely everywhere at the moment. You can see some nice big ones on the rocks. We're not going to bother with the ones that are stuck on the rocks. We're going to work our way straight through the side of this boulder bed here. 
it's really weird ground it's all a massive sand bed with boulders mixed in between ideal grounds to find those big lobsters but hopefully the tide goes down low enough it's not the best tide today so uh we'll see how we can get on got another really fat oyster there bit of weed growth on it perfect size for eating oh that one's a dead one so finding tons of clams next to them as well but that's a good size for eating that the reason we're going to be eating these today is i wouldn't recommend it normally off beaches where there's any boats or anything but we've got oyster beds only 100 meters from here and they're harvesting the oysters at the moment so we know the water's clean enough nice fat chunky monkey oh, nice they're beauty yeah sammy boy's done it he's got a larry lobster ha <laughs> ha what's she gauging like oh it's got a big body on it yeah it's only got one claw nice just that way. that is just yeah that Look is that. so close We finally found that Larry Lobster. Nice. It's always a, you always get a good sense of satisfaction when you find lobsters in a spot you've never been to, eh? Yeah, definitely. It means you're doing something right. Well, that's it, eh? <laughs> As always, guys, we're looking for the big burrows that, of sand that the lobsters leave. Because uh, that's always a telltale sign for them. So we're just walking it out. Sam's going to let her go. There you go. It's deep enough, eh? It will find its way. Yeah. See you later, missus. Hope you have a good day. Is he dead? You gonna go? No? There you go. Holy quackamole! Sam Sam's on fire today. Look at that for an oyster. That's a beast. That's a monster, mate. It's a nice one. That one's going straight in the bag. It's going in my basket. It's going in my basket. <laughs> Sam's on fire today. Look at that tiny little spider crab that one's got a molt you can see how limp it is that one is literally just ready to shed its shell oh, it's a shanker. <laughs> <laughs> there you go guys found something fighting the hook it's called the brown edible crab or shanker definitely not big enough nice big female but hey we want one about this big we we'll stick him on the barley <laughs> Sam's picked up another nice oyster by the looks of it. Not bad, bro. <laughs> Look at the weed growing on that. Yeah. Nice. Nice size that one. Yeah, definitely. Straight in the bag. Another little baby one there. There is hundreds of these around. It's just a matter of trying to find the bigger ones. I'd love to come here at night time. The amount of fish that would be underneath these oyster beds at night would be unreal. I'm gonna have to make that a video sometime. What do you reckon, Sam? That, mate. Go out at night time here with the shrimp nets. Oh, I reckon we'll load up. <laughs> what an amazing place to come and have a look. Look at that. It's just endless fields of oysters. We haven't found any sort of scallops yet. So, hey, it's interesting just walking around. There you go guys, look at that, a bit smaller than the one Sam found, this one's a male, the other one was a female, nice to find another lobster though eh mate? Yeah definitely. Happy days, not a monster, but hey we're glad we found them in a new spot we've never been to before so we know they're here for the future. <laughs> it's got his little arm growing back there as well, so we're getting back and uh, that tide should be turning soon so we'll have to make our way back up and we're going to cook some oysters. Go on then missus. Back home you go. There we go. Safe and sound. Hopefully we can find some more. Ah, lady crab, look. <laughs> and there's me thinking I had a big lobster. It's amazing how fast that tide pushes in. All of this was dry about 10 minutes ago. 
you can see completely covered that's why you never stay, overstay your welcome in any spot we always forage till low water and make our way back up so what's the final verdict sam how many oysters we get in the end Six. Oh, nice. We've got six oysters to cook up. Looking forward to that, eh? Yeah, it should be good. Got a message in a bottle. How old do you reckon that is? Um, I don't know. What's it got on it? Can't really see much. If anyone knows what sort of bottle that is, leave it in the comments, guys. It's interesting. It's pouring down, Sam. It's lovely. It's a beautiful sunny day. That's a peeled spider crab. Be a lot of that around here. We are absolutely soaked at the moment, so we're making our way up the beach, checking the holes as we go. It's a make or break. <laughs> We've decided to evacuate, guys. I don't know if you can see that, it is absolutely belting down. Sam's got waders on, I've only got uh, wellies. It's a beautiful sunny day, my friend. <laughs> I am, um, I look like I've just jumped in the sea. So we're gonna evacuate. Hopefully this rain stops so we can cook up our oysters. Sneaky beverage, eh, mate? Can't help it. Can't come to home and not have a sneaky beverage. <laughs> Beautiful weather, eh, Sam? Yeah, lovely. We've come up with an idea, guys. We're gonna cook these oysters later tonight when we're out foraging. Uh, it's gonna be a lot easier because there's no chance we're gonna cook in this. Destination, home. Got beautiful views off here. These are Rosetta steps. This is where we go to get on the boat. High tide, it's round at the harbour. You happy to get home, Sam? Oh yeah, We're completely soaked there. <laughs> See you soon, mate. We made it, Sam. Just about. Just about. <laughs> Back at the van now, guys. We've got our oysters. We're about to go foraging. <laughs> We've been busy lately. So we got a nice snack from home. God, that rain was bad, eh, mate? Oh, it was horrendous. Oh, it was. We got some beautiful oysters here. And what we're going to do with these today is we've got some fresh water. We're just going to put a little bit in the pan. Really simple. Sam hasn't tried the uh, Sanaran's crab boil. So we're gonna try oysters with a bit of this. So they'll be a bit like little spicy oysters. I've learned, put a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much all it is. We're gonna stir that up. We're gonna get that to a boil now. And we'll get our oysters in there. Smelling good, the Zanarans. Sam said it, it smells a little bit like medicine. It does, it, it smells like medicine. So I'm, I'm very very intrigued to, uh, to see what it actually tastes like. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised when I did when I did cook the crabs like this, The uh, it did have a little bit of a funny smell, but the taste is completely different. We will see, eh, mate? We will find out. Let's see if Sam spits them out or not. <laughs> <laughs> So our oyster's nearly done now. We've got one that we don't think is open, so we're going to discard that. This is how you want them to be. Nice and open. Just give them a few minutes extra, cook, just in case there's any bacteria. We're good to go. These are smelling great. That big one's definitely yours. <laughs> Check out the meat inside of some of these. This is the big one. Look at that. That's huge, eh? Massive. They've got loads of meat in them. Really fresh. You can tell by the perfectly pale white meat. Delicious. So there we go, mate. We've got oysters and Zanaran's boil. Mm, my big one. You go for the monster straight away. I'm going to go for a smaller one. These are really meaty oysters, eh? Mm. 
I haven't had oysters in a long time. No. Nah. Get it in the juice Not as well. Oysters like this. Look at that, guys. Lovely big piece of meat. Mmm. Mmm. Bit of grit. Mmm. That's the only problem about purging them. These, well, this one was fine. <laughs> uh, that's, the, that's the thing with foraging shellfish on the shore. You're always going to get one that's got a bit of uh, a bit of grit in. Yeah, it's part of it. These smaller ones are really nice. Oh. Mm. I miss that taste. Definitely, it's been a mm. long time, eh? Oh, there you have a big one. Cheers, mate. There we go. Last one down the hatch. That Zalman's actually isn't bad with it. It's quite nice, eh? If oh. anything, I would have put more in. Yeah. Give yeah. it like, a little bit yeah, of a yeah. kick. I agree. Sure. It's nice, though. So that's all of them gone, guys. I wish we could find more. Mm. Maybe next time, eh? So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. This was a fun trip, apart from the rain, eh? Yeah, I know. It was horrible. It was literally, yeah. That was the worst rain we could have had. But, hey, we had a nice pint. We had a bit of food after. So happy days. Day, eh? That's it, eh? So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. We are going to start going around the islands on the up and coming tides. So we'll see how we can get on. Maybe some fishing, eh? Hopefully. So stay tuned. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!